Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Um, first and foremost, I uh, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Um, this is going to be uh, a quick word, man. This is a quick message. Um, Lord willing, I'll be loading up the word later on this evening. Uh, just not leaving the day, uh, leaving the gym on my off day. And, um, what I want to speak about, man, is uh, being grateful, being thankful. I think that um, we tend to take for granted the blessings, the favor, the, the grace, the mercy uh, that the Lord has uh, bestowed upon us, man. And so um, I just want to come out with a couple of scriptures speaking on um, being thankful and grateful to the Lord. If you um, have a decent bill of health, you should be grateful and thankful to the Lord, man. Um, I speak about health as wealth, and it's not just a, a, a fancy catchphrase, but health is, is really wealth um, today. So many people are dying from heart attacks, cardiac arrest, high blood pressure, uh, brain aneurysms, um, colon cancer, diabetes, um, strokes, it's, I mean, it's just so many different ailments. People are getting injured in car accidents and, and, and uh, have life-threatening injuries to their health. Um, people are forced to live in hospices and all due to the fact that we don't really value our health. You know, brothers and sisters, we're only getting older, we're not getting younger. And the older that you get, the more wiser you should get when it comes to how you treat your body, what you put in your body, and how you um, work on your body. You know, your body is is just like a car in a sense. You got to take care of it. You know, or it wants to start breaking down. It's it, it's eventually gonna quit on you. And your body is is, is the exact same way. You know, and so. Um, just understand and know, man, if you got a decent bill of health, you should really appreciate and thank the Lord, man, and be thankful and grateful for that. Because there's people out here with no legs. There's people out here with no arms. There's people out here that can't see, people that's blind, literally blind. You know what I'm saying? Some people got to use a colostomy bag or, or, or a shit bag to use the bathroom. Um, it's so many different levels of health deficiencies that's happening out here to where if you're not struck with any of that, you should put some respect on it and thank the Lord, man. If you are pain-free most of the time when it comes to your body, you should thank the Lord. And uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, man, it speaks about thanking the Lord in all circumstances. Uh, give thanks to Yahweh in all circumstances, for this is the will of Yahweh and Yahweh shot for you. So we can't take our health for granted. We can't take our life for granted. We have to we have to thank the Lord, man. Every day that you rise to your feet, man. You should be thanking the Lord. In Psalms 107 and 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. So if you have life right now, you have a peace of mind, you have a sound mind, you should be thanking the Lord, man. You got a decent bill of health, think that you should be thanking the Lord. Every day, man. Somebody is struck with, 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 with the tragedy of losing a loved one. And let me tell you, man, it's, it's, life is really short, y'all. It's not long as y'all think it is, man. Life is really short. And health is really wealth today, man. Um, in Ephesians 5 and 20, it says, giving thanks always giving thanks always and forever to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. So we should be thankful 
and grateful. Especially if you have a decent bill of health, man. Um, like I say, Lord willing, I'll be loading up the word later this evening. Um, I have a message I want to come out with, man. But let me tell you something, man. Um, you sincere brothers and sisters, especially if you are 40 years old plus. You have to really preserve your body, preserve your health, man. Especially if you want to live long enough to see your grandchildren become grown. Now, we know according to Psalms 90 and 10, the Lord give you uh, life expectancy is 70 years old.